Hey everyone, so today I am doing, um, I did a video previously on my favorite MAC lipsticks, so I wanted to do one on my favorite non-MAC lipsticks, so um, hopefully you guys enjoy, and here it is. So the first lipstick that I really like is this Bite, um, it's like their crayon, it's their MAC cream lip cram, and this is in Satasuma. It's really, it's like a bright pink. <laughs> and it kind of goes on it's like a nice in between between a lipstick and a lip liner so you can line your lips with it first and then draw in and then you don't need to put anything over it unless you wanted to put like a lip gloss or something like that so I really like this I'm obsessed with the bite beauty products right now I think that they're just phenomenal so um, yeah this one's awesome and I really like the color because it's just a really fun bright pink color the next one that I really like that's in between um, kind of being a lipstick and a lip liner are the NARS uh, Cream Velvet Lip Pencils. And this one is Buenos Aires that I'm currently wearing. And it's just nice, again, has a little bit more like shimmer and gloss to it than the Bite products, uh, or than the Bite uh, crayons. So it's kind of nice because it does give you like a little bit of like, almost as if you're wearing a lip, a lip gloss so you don't really need to wear a lip gloss over it. I have it in a couple colors. The only downside to it, um, I think it's the same, no. So the, the bite ones you can turn, the NARS ones you have to sharpen which is a pain in the butt because you know how often do you have a sharpener like on you. So that's the only downside to that. But other than that they come in a great array of colors and I really really like them. Chubby Sticks by Clinique, I love them. This is in Pudgy Peony. I have a couple other colors and I just think that they're really great. They're so easy to throw in your purse. You don't need to fuss with like, you know, getting the lines right and all this kind of nonsense that can happen. So they're just really good products. Um, and there was a pack of two that I purchased um, and it wasn't that expensive at all. So these are really, really, really good products. This is my Rose Tea by Estee Lauder. I really like it because it's kind of, it goes on really, really nicely. It's a nice consistency and it's just kind of like a nice darker color. Um, I really like their products. I've used other products that I've shown in videos and I just really, really like their stuff. So their lipstick is great as well. And um, I just really like this color because it's just very pretty. This one I just got and it didn't make it in time for my uh, drugstore tutorial. I mean my drugstore haul. But I'm loving it. It's this really, it's a CoverGirl um, Berry Bling. And it's like purple without being too purple. Um, it's just so fun. And... I'm really into like purple lipsticks right now for some reason. I mean, I think that they're just in in general. And I just really, really like this one. It's very pretty. So um, I'm a big fan of it. Um, the only thing is it doesn't stay on very long, which is kind of a shame. But as long as you throw it in your purse, you know, no harm, no foul. <laughs> the next one that I am obsessed with is um, by Rimmel. It's called um, Lasting Lipstick by Kate. It's number 110. I think it had a name like Fiery something. Um, but it just says 110 on the bottom, but love this lipstick. Uh, it's so, so pretty. Um, it's just a gorgeous matte, kind of like hot red color. I'm wearing it in one of my upcoming um, drugstore tutorial videos, so you'll see it on again, but I'm like loving this. Definitely will be repurchasing it when I run out. <laughs> Last few that I have are kind of on the more expensive side. Um, but sometimes that can be worth it. Um, this is the Dior Addict in 465. I think it's called Bubblegum. I've worn it in other videos before. What I really love about this is it's super, super bright, like, when you look at it. But when you put it on, it really layers on very nicely so it doesn't go on, like, whoa in your face bright lipstick. Um, so, it, you know, it's... I really like it. It stays on pretty well, um, and it it just comes in a, like a wide variety of really really pretty shades. So I'm a big fan of the Dior lipsticks as well. Okay, this is the Yves Saint Laurent Rogue lipstick in number nine. You can tell it's just kind of like a darker pink color. It's pretty. Um, you know, it just it's nice. It complements a lot of different eye looks. It's really good. You know, if you just want something that's like on the more mature side, if you don't want to wear like a super bright pink in your face, um, it's just a really nice color. So I really like that one as well. This one is Yves Saint Laurent number twenty six. Um, 
doesn't have a name. I love this one. It reminds me of my Rose Lily by MAC. It's just a really pretty pink with like hints of that like purplish pink color that's really in right now. Kind of almost like that orchid color. Um, it's so, so pretty. I love this. I like this better than that other you've seen the wrong one I just showed. Um, but both of those are really expensive. So I mean, if you don't have like a ton of money to spend on lipstick, um, not necessarily like have to go out and purchase it, but I really do like that product is my NARS Roman Holiday. It's just a really pretty simple pink color. I really like this one. I recommend this if you're not a big fan of um, lipstick or like, you know, bright colors on your lips. It's just a really, really simple color. The only thing I don't like about the NARS is it's not a lot of product there. So, I mean, that's kind of disappointing, but you know, it's NARS is always going to be a good product. So I really like that. So those are my favorite, um, non Mac lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know what yours are. I would love to try them out and, uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks.